Hello summoners, welcome back to the channel. So this is a guide on Nick Fury. So of course Nick Fury is a great champion. I personally use a generic awakening gem on him. He kind of needs to be awakened. So first of all, we're going to be talking about his um, heavy attack. It applies three bleeds on the opponent, as you can see here. And once you have eight bleeds on your opponent, uh, it converts, it gets converted into an internal bleed, uh, and it does some damage over time, as you can see there. It's not the strongest part of the bleed damage that comes from Nick Fury. That would be the light bleed, and by that I mean the bleed you get from light attacks. His medium attacks does some bleed damage. It's not the strongest, but it'll be like if you want some real damage, you will have to end your combos with the light attacks. So that is why you would see a lot of people playing him like that and finishing the combo with the light attack. So from there, we can uh, go to his SP2. Let's talk about that for a second. His SP2 has a 50% chance to stun. It also, here we can see it does some other stuff as well. It gives more, more importantly, it gives four stack of bleed. Um, and the stun is really nice. It does decent damage a lot of times. Here, it, we are not going for the faster skill. So that is why I wanted to show the difference in the bleed you get uh, when his fury is on in the second phase, like here. Nick Fury is known for his cheat death and his signature ability. So once uh, you die the first time, the real Nick Fury, as people say, comes out and uh, his damage is increased by a lot. So now you can see the light bleed is sticking over 5000 uh, per tick, which means like ten over 10,000 damage every second. Uh, of course, you're, if you're playing Nick Fury, you should have uh, max uh, deep wounds. I have 4 out of 5 deep wounds, uh, it, so it could be higher than that. Uh, bleed synergies like uh, really help with Black Panther and stuff. Uh, so those are some things. His SP1, we're going to talk about that. You gain 4 tactical charges on every SP1. Also get some other stuff like you can read there. So what tactical charges actually do is five uh, you will get uh, you will be able to bypass all evade missing uh, like ghost phase or something and also auto block uh, and no one can auto block uh, nick fury anyways like uh, he's a great counter to auto like medusa or something uh, and uh, when you have 15 tactical charges that's where the best part comes in is the unblockable so as you can see top he is unblockable all his attacks and when uh, Nick Fury has a permanent fury up then his tactical charges like uh, otherwise in the first phase of Nick Fury if you use your SP1 you will uh, lose your tactical charges over time but uh, when you have that permanent fury you will uh, stay unblockable uh, unblockable for as long as the fight uh, uh, yeah for the entire duration of the fight and uh, if you have an unawakened Nick Fury and you think that this ability is useful, you can bring uh, the Angela and uh, Hela synergy and hold the block for the permanent Fury. That would also work. Uh, but the unblockable really makes, uh, really helps Nick Fury in stuff like you know, uh, Labyrinth and stuff. Uh, in shorter fights, you don't need unblockable you probably wouldn't be able to reach unblockable because it will re it does require some sp ones and uh, from there we're going to be talking about uh, what is there to talk about uh, yeah so a uh, normal alliance for you don't really need to play uh, risky like you don't have to die unless you're facing like a thing boss or something where you have the risk of timing out you can just play normally and uh, uh, if you die then the second phase of Nick Fury will save you and uh, you, that really helps in a lot of shorter quests uh, where you don't have to either the content is not hard or the quest itself is short so uh, then Nick Fury really shines anything that can bleed Nick Fury is a great option to get a great counter to anything that can basically bleed and here we're going to be finishing the fight.